No, it's the season two finale. That was quite the cliffhanger. I'm gonna rewatch it before season three starts. There is no season three, they canceled that show. Unfortunately, from time to time, some of our favorite shows get canceled due to various reasons, and we are all left to make do with our imaginations. It's even worse when those shows end on an unclear narrative and leave us all wondering until the end of time. So, today, we have five shows that were canceled after huge cliffhangers right here on Listed. All good things must come to an end, and sometimes that includes our favorite TV shows. Kicking off the list is the 90s show Freaks and Geeks. The show aired in 1999 and starred a baby James Franco, Jason Segel, and Seth Rogen. The show only had one season, with a total of only 18 episodes before calling it Dunzo. Sadly, the storyline was left open-ended when a character named Lindsay decided to attend a concert over being the academically inclined, quote, good girl she previously was. After the concert, we watch Lindsay drive away and we never find out if she eventually comes back or not. Although the show was built around the relatable topic, the high school experience, the show still couldn't keep an audience and was canceled in 2000 because of low ratings. All we could hope for now is the revival of this quirky show. Next up, we have a show that told a completely different tale of what it's like to grow up, especially when you wake up without a belly button. Didn't expect me to go that route, did ya? Kyle XY was an ABC show all about the mysterious origins of a teenage boy found in the woods who had no recollections of his past. The show aired for three seasons, and when it came to the series finale, the writers thankfully revealed who Kyle's father is. But then, they left a lot of things hanging when it came to Kyle's love life in question. I suppose we'll take what we can get and hope that Kyle had a happy ever after. My eyes weren't sure what they were seeing. Speaking of ABC shows with interesting premises, we just have to bring up Pushing Daisies on the list. We gotta put it on there because the show was built around the eccentric idea of a pie maker having the ability to bring the dead back to life. Now, even though the show received a lot of praise and even had 17 Emmy nominations, it only survived through the first season and a shortened second season. The writers tried to fill the gaps with a montage in the final episode of the rushed second season, but viewers were still left with plenty of unanswered questions about the story. Well, now we'll never know the answer to those questions because just like the title, the show ended up pushing daisies. See what I did there? This is Chuck, the love of his life, who he brought back to life. But there is only one way to keep her alive. You can't touch me. So a kiss is out of the question. Another deadly show on our list is Hannibal. Now the story of the show is a creepy fictional fable about a cannibal named Hannibal Lecter, who is also a serial killer. The psychological thriller also delves deeper into the tie between an FBI investigator named Will Graham and the killer, which, of course, intensified the storyline. As if the show wasn't intense enough, am I right? Anyway, the show received positive reviews during the first two seasons, but it tanked on the ratings in season three, which led to its demise. Spoiler alert! The final episode ended with Hannibal and Will on the edge of a cliff! Like a cliffhanger, kind of punny, right? To some, this was even an acceptable ending, but the writer of the show still left some plot holes to be filled in case of a possible revival, which they didn't get. What I'm recommending is Psyche Bell, Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Good evening, Will. Agent Crawford tells me I have a knack for the monsters. While cliffhangers suck, some writers leave us with cliffhangers so bad that it makes us question our existence. Okay, that's a little dramatic, but this was pretty true for the show Southland, a crime TV show that told the tales of the officers in the Los Angeles Police Department. After five seasons, the show came to an end in 2013 when TNT decided not to renew the show. This angered some fans as the show left off with one of the main characters in a critical condition after being shot and no answer when it came to questioning his survival, possibly killing off a character the viewers spent five years investing in. Yeah, that definitely Definitely sounds like a cruel and unusual form of torture. You're a cop because you don't know how not to be one. If you feel that way, you're a cop. 
If you don't, you're not. I suppose we'll never truly know what the end was truly supposed to hold for these beloved characters. Now I want to ask you, was there a show on the list that you were a fan of in the past? Mine was Kyle XY. Now perhaps there was a show that we didn't mention that ended in a cliffhanger. So let us know that in the comment box below. And after you're done, click here to watch best crossover TV episodes. I'm your host, Tom Plumley. Thanks so much for watching. Listed, and I'll see you next time.